cross-dressing begins. Ooh, yaoi review. Hi everybody, it's Corbin, and today we are delving into Crimson Spell, Volume 4, by Ayano Yamani. Alright, we shall read the back, we shall delve into it, and we'll get into the nitty-gritty. The key to discovering the secret behind Vlad's cursed sword is somewhere in the Empire of Zenendura. While information obtained from Limris, new companion and formal counsel of the Emperor, Prince Vlad decides to head there to see what he can find. Along the way, in order to save a gravely wounded Rulka, he deliberately cross chooses to turn himself into a demon. Vlad's uncharacteristic recklessness provokes a tirade from Halvir, who then leaves the group without a word. Now, this is rated M for Mature, or 18+, and this is published by Sublime Archar Comics. Now, this opens with an absolutely gorgeous piece of artwork, which is, is the full-color illustration inside, and it's very beautiful. I love the way she depicts clothing. It is absolutely stunning. Like, this shirt right here, gorgeous. I would love this. So, let's begin. It picks off from where it left off with Roluca, the little rabbit demon that they have. Being injured and near death, the only way to save that demon is by finding demon berries. The only demon berries they've ever encountered were on a dragon. The dragon refuses to allow Prince Halavir to ride it. So, it just kind of hits this whole mixed, kind of broad spectrum of information all at once. And they try to summon the dragon that doesn't quite work out as planned, but they end up finding the dragon in the end, and that nearly cost Prince Halavir his life, which then sends our lovely sorcerer, oh, sends our lovely sorcerer to do what he needs to do. Now, I meant Prince Vlad, Halavir is the sorcerer, mixing up their names. So, Prince Vlad and Halavir have a big fight, and Halavir kind of just vanishes when they hit the next leg of the journey, which is where they need to get through a spelled gate, and things kind of progress rapidly from there. Uh, we have the first and only sex scene in this volume, which is at a ball held for the new sorcerer that's arrived in town, which is Halavir, and Vlad ends up having to cross-dress and do a whole sticky situation of finding the sorcerer. The journey also continues on from there where we see them finally getting access through the gate and people leaving the party and people joining the party and people just being people. This volume is absolutely gorgeously drawn. I mean, I cannot say one negative thing about it. I bookmarked this page because I absolutely love this chapter art. I don't know why, but I think it's gorgeous. And also, the way that the author depicts women's clothing. Let's see if I can find a good one. The way that she depicts women's clothing. I mean, it's absolutely flawless. It is seamless. It is gorgeous. Her action shots are just as beautiful and amazing. I am floored. This volume was by far one of my absolute favorites. And I cannot speak enough positive things about it. This one, I gave it one of my highest ratings yet which I never give fives out of fives, but this one got a five out of five. It was very enthralling. It was very good. It was very well drawn. The pacing was just right. It was slow at the right moments. It was fast at the right moments. It didn't leave any major loopholes. It just was very well done. It was very boom, 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 boom. And it kept you so enthralled and interested that I couldn't put it down. And I finished it like that. So I highly encourage you guys to get into the series for this volume. I mean, the series overall so far has been really, really, really good. And I cannot say enough positive things about volume four. I loved it. Everything about it was really good. We get more plot, we get more intrigue, we get more interest in everything. And I, ju I just can't help but like it. I also would love this outfit he's wearing. So yes, that's where I'm at with it. I loved it a lot. So if you guys have questions or comments, shoot them down below. If you have a friend who likes Xiaoyi, share this with them, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Do you like what you see? Hmm, then...